idea is what if the excuse me the proposed event that one has to prepare for is one that occurs without their knowledge so in other words by the time the event in preparation is reached all the knowledge of the preparation won't be there it has to be done in a different way and then imagine if it's basically the least beneficial uh, conditions to the point where it's the worst a good way to liken it is a uh, suffering of an infant or child where they're basically helpless so what if we get converted into that on the way to the next system and the only way to solve that is uh by being able to prepare for it in a way without even knowing it. So then think of how that would influence the preparation for, for uh, that kind of situation. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. And, um... Excuse me. Thank you. Excuse me. And, um, and so then, uh, what if, um, the conditions you'll be preparing for? or the worst case scenario. It's like being blind, deaf, and dumb, and uh, something, something happens that makes it uh, basically something threatening. It kind of goes back to that infant scenario where we kind of have to be put into that state and then uh, hit with the highest degree of threat or disruption and be able to hold ourselves in that state consciously but in that sense beyond consciously but, but just through awareness itself in that way unconsciously be prepared and able to to withstand that so then if um one's able to overcome that, that would basically be the only, um, not signal, the only sign, measurement, the only way of checking or verifying if they're going to surpass whatever they're coming up against. And again, remember in this state, no, uh, you don't have your wits about you. It's the definition of being hit off guard when you're excuse me, in a silent state or not paying attention, not prepared, and so on. And uh, it equates to a lot in this world. But um, your life would be a curve and a consciousness curve, a closed time-like curve of your ability to withstand this type of resistance and convert it into something useful. Everyone's life is pretty much, if you draw that out on a chart, that's a map of what they're doing. And some might refer to that as the soul, some form of integrity that can't be defined otherwise. And uh, it's the same plan pretty much maybe even the same deal everywhere and um, there is really no schematic on how to most accurately me, prepare for that and so um, you have to come up with some pretty innovative non-linear, non-conventional psychological warfare, non-conventional warfare that's the type of system we're up against because that's what we're in Nobody made it. And 
so then you kind of got to understand that in order to understand what is happening on the surface, what people are going through. The idea of the womb is essentially the state you're going to be in when you uh, face whatever this challenge is. And uh, literally, you're a fetus that has to break out of the matrix. You're going to end up being born again. <laughs> it's a big joke. But uh, the idea is to do it consciously, gain awareness each time, or all at once. And so then... It means when you're helpless and defenseless, alone, blind, in the dark, panicking, in that state you have to be the that state you have to be the strongest and be able to consciously outshine that until it's second nature, which puts is the barrier of consciousness back to self awareness that in order to gain full self-awareness consciousness has to I'm going over bumps it has to walk through this dark valley across this chasm just to get back to where it already was it's like a joke but in doing that oh, consciously you gain insight over the manipulations and you'll notice the same blueprints that are applied and uh, changes seem to happen from there and so uh, the idea is I'm trying to make a connection between what people understand as this matrix system we got to break out of and how we're caught at our most vulnerable moments and that as dark as it may seem the truth is the only way to overcome that is to be invulnerable to it and the only way to do that is to basically face it while you're awake and so, thus you have projects and multiple other aspects of the situation.